Hi guys, it's Pixels Tech here, back with another Widgie tutorial. Today we're going to focus on a problem that a lot of people get, and that's when creating a widget and it not loading. So as you can see here, I have an extra large widget. I'm using iPad, but I do have a tutorial on iPhone for this too. And I've got a lot of layers on this widget. It's in the slot required and it's just not loading. So the basic reason is the file's just too large, so we need to make some modifications. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into our widget and press edit. And as you can see, this widget is huge, 627 layers, so well over capacity. I'm not too sure what the capacity is. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments. So what we're going to do is we're going to use things called tap actions, and we're going to create a button with those tap actions. So as you can see on the right hand side of my widget there, I've got these colorful um, uh, boxes. They are all buttons. So what we do is we go into tap action and we press action and we're gonna go over to button. And as you can see on the right hand side, we've got all the visuals or non-visuals if you will. And these are the layers that you want to see or don't want to see. So a green eye means you want it to, when you press that button, you want to see that item. Or layer and when you and the red eye means that you don't want to see that layer a white eye just means that it's going to stay um, where it is nothing's going to happen to it whether you press the button or not so I always use green or red it just makes it easy to um, make sure that what you want on display is there so what we're going to do is we're going to go back and this is the resolution to the problem we've got is we're going to hide all of our layers and this will remove around 600 layers for me. So what that means is we're not asking the Apple device to load um, 620 layers. We're asking it to load around 20. And then we can press the buttons. So we'll go back to the home screen and we're going to press one of our buttons. And this should load. And there you go. So now it's only trying to do, you know, a, a fifth of the layers it was trying to load at a time rather than all of them. So this is a great resolution. Widgie always has some form of resolution in, in any of our problems. We just need to find them. So I've seen people utilize buttons in a case of, well, this one's not working. Better fix that. Anyway, uh, yeah, so you can use buttons to change between calendar, clock, anything you want. Uh, the, again, which is there to create whatever you want. You just need to know how to use them. So that's the problem solved. We now have large widgets that are able to load just in much smaller doses. And I'm just gonna quickly run you through how this works on an iPhone. So as you can see there, we have the same problem. So what I'm gonna do is fast forward through this just so you can see, and it's exactly the same thing. We're deselecting the layers to make sure it loads so as you can see there this has worked and all of the buttons are working so hopefully this resolves a problem for you and what we're going to do now is i'm just going to take you back to widgie and i'm going to quickly show you how to create one uh, using buttons that is so let's click create obviously i've got plenty of tutorials and i plan to do a lot more so I'm not going to tell you everything I'm doing today. I'm just going to show you how to create a button. So sizing and things like that. You can go to another tutorial, which um, if I don't already have it, be sure I will be getting around to it at some point. So we're going to create a new uh, group and we're going to add a layer and we're going to add another group. Inside this group, we're going to have a background and we're going to have um, a symbol and outside of that group we're going to add a tap action and that will be our button so to create the next layer we're going to rename this to one on and inside that layer i'm going to add a button so not a but not a tap action button the uh, visual button so we're going to put a shape in and we're going to resize it to the size we like Again, this is always up to you, however you want it. And we're gonna just do some coloring. So I'm gonna round the button so it looks like a button to uh, 20 rounded corners. And we're gonna add um, a nice outline color shadow. Um, I'm gonna add a nice outline color to it. 
so what I like to do is have the outline um, as the same color as the button and when the button's on it becomes the color of the outline so we're going to save that to our custom colors and there we have the first stage of our button then um, let's move it back what we're going to do is we're going to um, get our symbol so I'm going to go up to the top and add a new layer and that's going to be a symbol so let's just resize that and then using our saved colors I'm going to go and make that the same color as the outline so that's our off stage just going to quickly move the tap action and now our buttons coming along quite nicely so we've got the basic now we're going to duplicate the group and we're going to create the on so on so that was the off so I'll rename that to off and we're now going to make it look like the buttons on so um oh, I just need to put the symbols in so starting our on button we're going to um just create a new color and we're going to make that black and we're going to change the symbol to black then what we're going to do is go to the shape and we're going to make that the same color as the outline and that is the creation of our first button finished so what I'm going to do is duplicate that so we've got number one we're now going to make number two and I'm going to rename the relevant folders inside I'm going to rename them one on one off two on and two off and then I'll just move the second button into position and now we have our two buttons so we've only got a couple more things to do we've got to create our tap actions but first let's figure out exactly what we're going to want to see when we press them so all I'm going to do I'm going to create an image and I'm just going to use one of the APIs that's built in um, and get one from Unsplash so I'll show you how to do that quickly so I'm just going to click on the image in the top there and I'm just going to go to API list, go to one splash and you can use the search bar, but I'm just going to grab this image here. Uh, I'm going to go back. I'm going to duplicate that and do the same process again. So we now have our content. Now let's create the tap action. So I'm going to press this one here. This is number one. So what I want to do, because I've named everything easy, it's going to be really easy to figure out. So when I press button number one, I want one to be on. So in turn, I have to press one off, off. I want to see two off and not two on. And then the image one needs to be on and the image two needs to be off. I hope that makes sense. It does in my head, but I can see where it could get confusing. So I have made mistakes on buttons many times just playing around. So again, on this one, I want to see number two. So two needs to be on and two off needs to be off. One needs to be off and two needs to be on. And then we need to go and make sure that one on is off and one off is on. So that's our buttons created. Now, if I haven't made any mistakes, which I don't think I have, this will work. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to throw this into a group quickly and resize it so it looks a bit bigger on the screen. And let's go and check out our widget. So we're going to go and confirm and we're going to go and place this. I'm just going to put it in one of my already used slots here just to make it easier and we're going to go home and with a bit of good fortune we press one of our buttons and there you go so we've got this picture and I'll press this one and press this picture so again you can do whatever you like you can have different calendar days you can have um, different weather forecasts all sorts of stuff uh, you can see how large my widgets are and how much stuff's in there there's loads of tap actions there are loads of images. So in summary, there is a limit that Apple provides and there are ways around it by using buttons. So I hope this video tutorial helped you. Feel free to like and subscribe, ring my bell, feed my ego, all that wonderful stuff. And I will see you on the next one.